Julie and Dana, two moms navigating marriage and motherhood. But this is definitely not your mom's podcast. What's up, guys? It's Julie and Dana, and this is Not Your Mom's Podcast. And today we're at Lux in Bluffton, and we are really excited. Outside of this podcast, we also got some content and video footage. We both got our first Hydra fish I know. Shot. I was going to say, like, they look, like, all gorgeous. I know. <laughs> Dana and I are looking a little rough, but we at least look dewy and, like, refreshed, okay? Yes. We don't have, like, our a regular, like, <laughs> what does it call, like, a highlighter and, like, all that contouring and stuff like we usually do. So You're this seeing is all the natural. Real us. This is the real deal, okay? Yeah. Well, real women have to. And that hydrofacial was amazing. So amazing. So good. Thank you. (laughs) You did a wonderful job. It was a good mix of like relaxing and also like I felt like it was, you know, it was like extracting and doing something. It wasn't just relaxing. Yeah, it was a good little combination. It was Dana's first ever facial. Can you guys believe that? I've never had one. I I feel like I haven't heard of a hydrofacial. I feel like I've heard of it, but I, I don't know. Well, and this will be a topic to talk about. I think like when I'm thinking about how I'm allocating my money towards my face, and this is just someone that's not educated in like uh, products and everything, my first thing is, or at least five years ago when I started, Botox. I, was I like, said I'm that getting to older. Jasmine. Like, I feel like we need to go around, like do our ages because that's important to me too. Like, what does someone in their 30s do versus someone in their 40s? That's true. You know, so like started in my like 30s doing Botox. Do you like, all have yeah, it is addic- <laughs> It's a little addicting. Well, you see the results of it and then the results start to go away because it lasts about three months and you're like, I need that mm-hmm. back. Um, I started Botox when I was about 28, mm-hmm. 28, 29, I'm 40. Um, okay. And, you know, we tend to do more units than the normal. Of course. Person. Yeah. Yeah. Discounts. You're a walking like, billboard, that's, right? And yeah. that's the other thing. You guys are the walking billboard. That's right. true. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think... I couldn't tell you how many I do because I'll do my neck sometimes. Oh, yeah. oh okay. So, like she said, every other time yeah. in the crow's feet. Um, but I think the most popular areas are the glabella, mm-hmm. the elevens, okay. you know, the forehead, the crow's feet. And then you can do fun things. Like if you don't like your bunny the lines, bunnies. you can do that. Oh, I've never gotten the bunny mm-hmm. lines in, which I know that I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can do and the then, chin. I actually did that for the first time not too long ago and mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah. Not something like I was super concerned with, but. Yeah. If you're scared of lip filler, we can do like a lip flip. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's how I started this all. I, I started say, with a Dana little lip flip. Like the famous lip flip. Probably. Yeah, I started with the lip flip and then I started and then I got lip filler. And then I d- I've only done the 11s mm-hmm. ever, but I need 40 units just there mm-hmm. or it doesn't last at all. It'll last literally a month. You do the Dysport or is it? No, Botox. And I'm one or what's the other one? Um... There's Zeman. 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 There we go. Zeman. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was like blanking out. I've tried both, but I've never done Dysport, which okay. I wonder if that would maybe be better. What's the difference between, let's talk about that, yeah. Dysport and Botox? Trying. Um, well, a nurse practitioner could definitely explain it better than I can, mm-hmm. um, but um, they tend to kind of use both. Okay. Uh, just everyone's different. So some people, Botox may last longer. Some people, Dysport may last longer. Okay. So it's kind of like a practice. Trial and error yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Just yeah. like medications, I suppose. You yeah. Know, like a variety. You have to try which one works best for you. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What else have I I've gotten before? I didn't do anything to my face this last time around except for my crow's feet because I felt like I needed a break. Like I yeah. did like five years yeah. of Botox. So I was like, you know, this time I'm just not going to. But definitely got here, here, here. I've done my chin before, mm-hmm. like once or twice. And then these, whatever. I got the- poked here. The DAOs. Yeah, whatever the, they are. The corners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I did oh, oh I did down. do my neck. Like, which was interesting because it was you pulling here and then this one became more prominent. So she had to go back and do this. But it's not going to work really for me. I feel like I need like fat injected there because it's just like. <laughs> Julie's saving up for a facelift. <laughs> I am saving up for a facelift. But, um, well, but we yeah, have I've done, something, I've, I've done something that you might right. try instead. What's that? <laughs> tell me. What? Julie, you want to tell her? Yeah. We have a new treatment called Morpheus 8. Okay. So it is a skin tightening treatment. Okay. So it's a radio frequency and microneedling. Oh, I need all of that. And have <laughs> you guys tried it? Too. It's effective? Yes. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. We had it last Friday. Yeah, last okay. Friday. So a week yeah. ago. And that's something, though, you'll have to, like, keep up with, right? Like, you have to come in and keep doing? So you come in for three treatments. Okay. Initially, and then it is a skin tightening. It's a collagen building treatment as well. Okay. So with the two different modalities, radio frequency and microneedling. So okay. you would come in for treatments after those initial okay. three, but you could space them out as 
I tell, tell people all the time, like the the end result is when you're satisfied with your results. Yeah. So you you come into your satisfaction. So, okay. So, so what areas? Like what what areas would you suggest for it? So face, neck, and chest. Okay. I can also treat body. So arms above the knees. Oh. Yeah. oh you yeah. always talk like about your knees. knees. <laughs> my knees. That's how you can tell my. She's always like my creepy like, knees. I know. I feel like they're all wrinkly and creepy now. Her stomach too. Yeah. 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 Loose skin there. Oh, that too. We're coming back in. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I come back in getting Morpheus from head to toe. Yeah. Just do it. They're going to be here every three months doing podcasts with us. Right? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> That's cool, though. That's really neat. And this is like a newer type of thing. Is this like new technology? New to Lux. New to Lux. So, okay. What oh, okay. we like to brag about is we don't bring on a lot of technology. Okay. And that says something when we do bring something on. Okay. Right? So we've been open 10 years and we've tried things that didn't work out. And we have. Um, brought things on that do work out. So you'll find us bringing on brands that are going to make sure to provide our providers with really good education. Mm -hmm. Um, We like to stick with like kind of the gold standard in the industry. We don't like to trial and error stuff Mm -hmm. um, because we've been here 10 years. We want to be here 10, 20, 30, 40 more years. So we want just the best reputation that if you come here, you know your treatments will work. Yeah. Yeah. That's Um, important because it does stink when you save up all this money for a treatment and Mm. it doesn't do anything. I feel like it's important to have that, you know, confidence knowing that you're going to go in and the treatment is going to do something. It's important to listen to the provider too, who's recommending the treatments. If they say you need more than one, Mm -hmm. you know, you're going to need more than one. Don't just do the one and say, oh, it didn't work. Yeah. Well, come back for the second one, you know, so. I think, and that brings it back to kind of what you were saying earlier. Like, it is true. I was saying this to you when I spoke with you. Like, I have never had a facial in my life yet. I was getting Botox. Like, Mm -hmm. and it's like, where is the beginning stages? Like, where do I kind of prep for all of this? And that is really important. I, I'm excited that we got to try it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can get the Botox and, you know. Right stop the muscle contraction but if you're not taking care of the actual quality of your yeah. skin then right right paralyze my face yeah. but uh, well, that, that's where i'm at too, my is pores that, like, i finally got used to like botox and i was like okay yeah like this is looking good i'm freezing everything i'm happy but then it always comes back to like my skin texture, texture. yeah and like not having to work i want to be one of those people that doesn't have to wear like makeup all the right. time i can't whatever. even imagine me too like, i can't we're even always picture on foundation it. and things like that i'm like i want to get to a point where like just the skin surface is better like collagen is and elasticity is like a little bit better. I also mm-hmm. thought that I would stop breaking out in my mid thirties and yeah. I'm not sure why <laughs> that like didn't too. stop. I, like I thought that was a teenage thing and I'm like waiting for it to be over. Yeah. It's just not. Yeah. <laughs> Hormones. Yeah. Well, I think you also want the compliment from people is like not your makeup looks great. Right. You want your skin looks mm-hmm. great. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's uh, true. Yeah. Well, your makeup does look better. Steps if plus time on steps for makeup than you can write right. them on mm-hmm. your skincare. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, true. Yeah. Like, we're not spending it on makeup. We could be spending it on skincare. That's mm-hmm. right. Thanks. Yeah. Time. Is there something other than the Morpheus 8 that, like, you guys do here that people maybe don't know about and should be more popular than it is? Like, this is... This year is the first time I've heard of like radio frequency, yeah, like all of it. like all those kind of things. And I actually don't know the difference between like, I don't know. You guys could fill me in on some of the terminology, but well, just my, some of the methods here. That... I, I think a lot of people do know about it, and it's pretty popular. I don't know, right? You know, outside of our clinic, you know how yeah. big mainstream it is. I know. Um, but I do a lot of microneedling treatments okay. as well with a skin, skin device. Mess. There's very little downtime. Okay. It's something you can do throughout the year. It builds collagen. It minimizes pore size, fine lines over a series of treatment. It can target pigment. So kind of all of the things that are anti-aging, it Mm -hmm. minimizes acne scarring. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's a great treatment all around. It's something you can do throughout your lifetime to maintain that collagen collagen and and healthy, pretty skin Mm -hmm. without the the post time, you know, where you're recovering. Right. And it's right. also good for people that don't want to do neurotoxin. You know, they want to go a more natural route okay. because they're going to boost their collagen and work on those fine lines and wrinkles too. So microneedling for the win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you say, like, that was going to say, like, sometimes things are trending, right? Like, mm-hmm. retinol or whatever it was when first retinol probably <laughs> came out and was like retinol everything. So you'd say maybe microneedling is like, what's been trending and what's been like doing popular and doing good for like maybe what the last like couple of years or something. Yeah. I don't know how long it's been around, but quite some time. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it'll ever go away because mm-hmm. it is like Rachel said, it's something okay. that's your own natural mm-hmm. collagen and elastin that's being built over a series of treatments. And right. 
you know, people after just a couple of days, you know, it's they're they're saying this is the best my skin's oh, ever right. ever felt and wow. looked, and it's just is really super easy. I say you get a little nap in the beginning. We mm-hmm. we numb you for thirty yeah. minutes. You <laughs> turn the lights down. So. Oh, I, I want that. that. I know that sounds nice. The nap and the skincare like, treatment. Yeah, <laughs> we were saying as moms, like truthfully, I don't even care if it's painful. Any like time that I could just shut my eyes and sit there <laughs> and, and it's back great. It's without great. any yeah. distractions or anybody yes. needing anything. I think that when you say trending, I think you're almost thinking of because it's how I'm like social media again yep. like mm-hmm. we're starting to see like people trying to bring at home use of a lot of these things yes like so are you guys seeing oh, that yeah. as well like we were talking about the light therapy that we're like yeah. how many of those masks that are like five dollars on tiktok shop are actually red light therapy right. you know or like uh even like the micro needling and stuff or we were talking about dermaplaning yes. like and how some of this could be kind of dangerous you're bringing in Absolutely. bacteria it's not medical grade especially with the micro needling uh, they do make those like the dermal mm-hmm. rollers. absolutely not Okay. Okay. That's a no. Yeah. No. Okay. The dermaplaning part, it's a little different. It's going to be, like I told you earlier, it's not something I would do frequently, but if you're just trying to kind of maintain like the little fuzz around your lip in between Mm -hmm. spa treatments, then that's it. Not looking to get whiskers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're not getting that exfoliation from it. So I would definitely see a professional for that. Okay. Uh, good for just getting that dead skin, the peach fuzz, all of that. But um, those blades at home, they can harbor bacteria, so don't okay. reuse them. I know she made me throw mine out because yeah. <laughs> I just don't have time working here. Like you work yeah, here, yeah. so you go home at yes. the end of the day. But I think when we're talking, if we're doing myth busters and what's on trend, mm-hmm. yeah. I think the other thing that's on trend is like trying to use all natural ingredients. Okay. Um, and and we agree with that. Like use yeah. all natural ingredients, perfect. But botanicals and things like that can be, sen- like, people can be sensitive to them. Okay. Um, and we had an esthetician that used to say, well, you know what else is natural? Poison ivy. Right. What does that do to our skin? Like, it's bad, right? Oh, so true. Um, It's true. I think that even with supplements and stuff, a lot of that's not FDA regulated and tested and I'm guilty. You know. I'm like one of those people that's why it took me forever to get to Botox. I was like, I want everything natural yeah, and organic. <laughs> and I like went back and back and forth like Botox or not Botox. And then one day I was just like, I'm just gonna go do it. And mm-hmm. then like, you know, a few days later I was like, oh my God, I'm beautiful. Yeah. And I was like, this is amazing. And then I was just like hooked. Yeah. Like it was like not going back. I'm like, I don't care what's going in now. Mm-hmm. If it's gonna make it look good, you right. know. So I totally was in and yeah, I don't know, but yeah, so try to explain to people that might be scared of putting a neurotoxin Be- in and filler and things like that. Um, what would you say to them? Because yeah, well, I was one of those people that came and I was like, I don't know if I should be like, how's this okay? Right. You know? Well, it's just, it's small doses. It's tiny yeah. doses. It's like, yes, too much could be lethal. Mm-hmm. We don't yeah. want that. Um, but it's tiny, tiny doses. Um, and, you know, I, People may have heard recently I was about the say, cases. Have you heard um, anyone yeah. talking about that? I don't think anyone's brought it into the office yet that I'm aware of. But there are been some cases of fake Botox recently. Oh, yeah. um, it's been across nine yeah. states. Yeah. Yeah. I hear this. Yeah. So we and you know it's funny I was on our YouTube channel last night and I actually came across a video that Dr. Winninger was in like him and I were in like seven or eight years ago and he was okay. talking about it then mm-hmm. and it's like you have to be careful where you get your Botox from. You want to make sure people import it illegally. Uh, There's a lot of, like, at-home treatment yeah, or, like, right. people having little spas in their home right. and stuff. So, of yeah. course, we want to come to Lux. But if you don't come to Lux, <laughs> at least ask the people, do they offer Alley? You know, Alley is a rewards right. program okay. that helps you save money. But also, people can only offer Alley if they buy the Botox from the company that makes the Botox. That's a good tip. So, yeah. and you can also ask, and we'll do it. Um to show you, you the vial. Bringing the vial in here, mixing it in front of me. So if you're nervous about it, we'll do oh, that. Yeah. Um, now, of course, we, we don't treat pregnant or nursing women um, with Botox because there's no studies on it. Nobody wants to study yeah. pregnant or nursing. Too, risk. um, Too risky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's what I think we would suggest. Okay. Um, Actually, that news is good news for them. Like, right. the, one, the fake yeah. Botox stuff, because people are going to come in to, like, a legit... Yeah, it was just interesting, but stuff. I wonder if sometimes, you know, people hear headliners and they think, oh, my gosh, there's fake Botox going around. Like, I'm not going to get oh, it anymore. Right. So I was right. curious, kind of, like, on that debunking of, like, it was these isolated cases yeah. right. of, you know, improper use. Yes. Yeah. What would you say is the most painful procedure? Yeah. <laughs> The one where people are just like... Yeah, people are like, ooh, that hurts. Yeah. Like, or you need, like, you definitely want to be numbed for. Yeah. 
I feel like everyone's pain tolerant. Yeah. But it, you know, when we numb you, we numb you properly for the, the correct amount of time, and it's a very tolerable procedure. The microneedling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and afterwards, the after effect, the feeling is that of like a light sunburn. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah. Tolerable. I think it's it about seem too bad. Yeah, just making sure we keep you comfortable with mm-hmm. the right amount of numbing time. Mm-hmm. Really. You do not need numbing for Botox. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, that's not painful. No. But lip filler would so. probably be another mm-hmm. one, right? Yeah, yeah, I was saying that. I felt yeah, like lip filler was a little painful. Yeah. I think like, the reason why I haven't gotten it is because I'm scared that's going to hurt. It's not like it was doable. I wasn't. Right. And they can give you like the injectable numbing too. And right. Pronox. And blood. Pronox, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't I was telling her about that yeah. earlier. Because I'm a big yeah. baby. Like everything always hurts for mm-hmm. me. Like it's all horrible. But I do it because I'm like, I want the payoff. Yeah. <laughs> the payoff is higher than the pain. Like, you It's know. funny. Yeah. We've talked about this too. Like kind of finding that in between of allowing ourselves to age and also okay, yeah. like wanting to look as best like as we can it. at that age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and preserving it. Because like. It makes you feel good. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feel better. Mm-hmm. But like also like finding the in-between of not getting ourselves like too crazy where mm-hmm. we're like, we can't, we're going to see differences in our skin, even if we take right. care of it. Like we have to accept part of that too. Yeah. It's like a, it's a hard in-between of like mm-hmm. aging. Mm-hmm. Well, and that brings me up to another question. And I, it might be the oldest one in here, but what would you suggest to someone? Like what's the difference between is, if there is one between someone in their thirties or forties, like, the people in their 30s, what should they be worried about the most or taking care of or focusing on as opposed to someone in their 40s or even 50s? Like, you know, is there a difference in the age brackets there? Well, I think it's it's the, depending on the, the person, you know, and kind of maybe how they've maintained their skin care oh, up sure, to yeah. that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and different types of, you know, if it's an, if a, you know, they've struggled with acne or if it's more of like the sun damage. Okay. So I think... For all ages, it's really finding the right skincare and treatments. Okay. For, for your their skin concern. Type. Yeah. For yeah. their skin type. Okay. And for your concerns, yeah. For for what? Right, because someone you're... might be like, "Oh, I don't want the sunspots," or right. like, "I'm like, I don't like my pores," or and whatever. And that could What's be different? someone who's in their 30s or in their 60s. Okay. Yeah. But you definitely see sure. a difference in skin, I would assume. Mm-hmm. Like, there's definitely has to be like a thinning or a, yeah right like, as, as, like where do you yeah. see that yeah. where do you There's, like what age around does that start to happen would you say where you see like more laxity yeah where like you will start needing skin. a little bit more of a regimen probably i know obviously it's good to always have a regimen but like yeah. being realistic most 22 year olds in college are not going to have a regimen like yeah, right. where do you see like that point of like most people having to start that probably 30s maybe yeah yeah that's when i started noticing at least and it's easier for these ladies to help you during the prevention True. process than it is the correcting process mm-hmm. yeah so if you okay. can prevent versus correct then right then those women when they enter their 40s they're still preventing mm-hmm. when they enter their 50s they're still just preventing and so it's just an Instead easier correcting right yeah. and then- i remember in nursing school one of the people I was with, she said she was like, she worked at a dermatology office and that was her plan. She was going into like aesthetics nursing. And she said, she was like, I can tell you when a 45 year old woman walks in and she used retinol for the last 20 years or she yeah. did not. Like mm-hmm. that's how much of a difference she said she felt like retinol made. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just the texture and pores yeah. and fine yeah. lines. Yeah. It, uh, retinol she was like, I just couldn't believe changer. like what a game changer it was. Really? So retinol, everyone loves retinol, right? Mm-hmm. Or no. Or well, is there a better... It product may not be retinol. for everyone, oh. um, but most people, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Trawick will say, if you can pick two products, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. She would say your number one needs to be your sunscreen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone. Number okay. one. Number two would be a retinol, retin-A. Find the one that's the best Works for you. Me. There's some that will be better for over the counter. Some people will be better with the prescription. And that's what these girls are for is okay. you, you don't have to decide alone. Okay. Like they will help you. Yeah. And that's what we try to like teach people. They're like, well, we don't know what we need. Like you don't have to like, let them True. pick your regimen yeah. for you and yeah. let them. Oh, that's so. nice to like come in for like a consult. A consult. Yeah. yeah. I think that's really important, especially with what you see these days. You know, social media is such a big thing, which mm-hmm. we love it. But um, like TikTok, like you see these but everyone's a professional that are, now <laughs> yeah, that are influencing these products and people are buying them and using them and those things might not be right for their skin not one thing works for everyone like you said earlier so definitely book a consult you know with a professional for sure. and, and something you get with medical grade skincare are clinical studies that are going to mm-hmm. back up you know the evidence that they work we can right. instruct you how to use it and what it does so you know a lot of the, like 
a, there's a lot of times words out there, you know, that that are trending and that are mm -hmm. in every product, but it's important how it's formulated and okay. you know, how, how it's going to work or if it's going to sit on your skin and yeah. you know, wash it off. So when you're using medical grade skincare, you have those clinical studies that like one of my favorite kind of new ones is an eyebrow serum by Obagi oh. and their clinical study is a hundred percent of their participants. Wow. Got wow. Results. So that, what is this? So I don't need to touch my eyebrows on anymore. <laughs> oh yeah. She just did that. She did the microneedling of her eyebrows yeah. Yeah. or not microneedling. Micro like, microblading. Microblading. Yeah. yeah. yeah they look great. Yeah. They do look Dang. really good. Yeah. I want more. At first, she was like, they, they mapped out what they were going to do. And I was like, that is way too much. And then they went in and I'm like, I need more. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You weren't used yeah. to it. It's the same yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Um, what would you say that, like, we should do, like, seasonally? Like, is there anything, mm -hmm. like, during the summer stay away from and do during the winter and vice versa? Like, because I've heard that before. Like, you know, maybe stuff that you're going to do to your skin that, like, yeah. probably wouldn't be best during the summer if you're going to be out Chemi in it. Chemical peel would probably not be the best during the summer. I mean, it's going to depend on your lifestyle, yeah. of course, you know. But um, laser treatments, sure. some people find easier to schedule during the, the cooler months if you're right, going to be yeah. outside wearing your sunscreen mm -hmm. and your hat. <laughs> that reapplying is that. a big one because I put it on, but then I always forget to reapply. Yeah. Oh, well, you yeah. see my redness right now. <laughs> they do make nice, um, like, brush-ons, okay. which we have here at the Color Science. That's really good. Oh, I re love reapply. the Color Science Foundation, yes, like the tinted You don't have to get it on your hands, too, because it's right. a brush. And then the Ulta oh. makes a stick. Okay. That's great. That's good um, to know. But I wanted to say, uh, back to your question, yeah. the hydrofacial is something good all year round. So, okay. You know, in the winter months when you're on the dry side, right. it's going to be extra hydrating. In the summer when you're a little more oily or, you know, hot and congested, it's mm -hmm. really good for just refreshing. So skin. you saw our skin up close. Can you do a mock <laughs> consult? Like, what would you suggest for right. me versus her? Like for the almost like what like on a monthly weekly like a, or for like whatever year, whatever her consult would a be plan for yeah like, like, like a, a plan, plan off yeah, treatment a plan. yeah I would say for both of you hydrofacials okay at least once a month once a month once a month okay. hydrofacials six, six to eight months. weeks okay if that's better for your schedule okay, okay. and like then just it. being really consistent with your your routine at home okay. to kind of amp up those results okay both of you are both using retinols too mm -hmm. right so yeah that's that's good. Okay, so just yeah. the hydrofacial. And then if you're looking for, yes, but if you're looking for more of tightening and stuff, yeah. then yeah, maybe lean towards the Morpheus, the Morpheus. or the microneedling. Yeah. yeah. Good protection. Yeah, I think the microneedling too. would be nice. I have like these sun or aging spots or whatever a little bit. Like that is something I that can't stand. It kind of bothers to, you. Yeah. That's when you need to come see Julie for okay. laser. I was going to say, right. would that be fall. laser or <laughs> laser in the fall? Like, you know, I'm getting confused between all those. So they, the chemical peel is going to work towards minimizing that sun damage. So okay. you're going to get quicker results with a BBL treatment. Okay. So BBL, what's that? It's a broadband light treatment. So okay. target. I don't think you like the butt thing. <laughs> Stands for that too, but not. <laughs> like yeah. I need that also, but yeah. So it targets, BBL targets, we can treat vascular, like the little okay. tiny broken capillaries okay. and we can treat pigment with a BBL okay. treatment. There's a bit of collagen building with the thermal heat from the, the laser treatment, but it's going to target that pigment and you're going to have a really great reduction from your first treatment. So that looks like, and that's a really pretty easy after care as mm -hmm. well. The pigment kind of rises to the surface. Some people say it looks kind of like coffee grounds. It's a little darker and it sloughs off, you know, okay. slowly throughout the week, about seven to 10 days. Mm. So that so, would be more of the winter one, like mm -hmm. she was saying, like start yeah. it maybe October, November, mm -hmm. and then okay. do a th series, series before it gets hot again in the spring. And, and it's also kind of back to that natural trend. It's a, it's natural because mm -hmm. it's just light there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, it's part of the Cyton brand. So BBL is the same as IPL. So some people have heard is of IPL, okay. like um, intense pulse light. Pulse light. BBL is the brand, so like Band Aid versus Bandage. Okay. Um, okay. So it's again back to Lux offering gold standard of mm -hmm. treatments. It's the gold standard for brown spots. Okay. BBL. All right. I feel like there's so many options. I would get lost yeah. a little bit. So that's why coming in for the consult would be the best thing to do because mm -hmm. and, and knowing a lot of what options. knowing what your post care experience is going to be, mm -hmm. you know, because with the chemical peel, you're going to have those visible signs of 
You're yeah. not going to want to do that like right before a wedding yeah. or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right so right. it's kind of like, what do you want? We, 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 we know what we want our results to be and then understanding what your post-care experience is going to be as well. So I think those are all the, those are all important things that will be talked about during the consultation. So you right. kind of know what your experience will be all around and be able to choose which treatments fit your, your lifestyle the best. Awesome. Well, this was super informative. I know. Anything else before we wrap it up? I know. You know, I think they just have patient. They have patients yeah. showing up. So. Oh, yeah. We can do this again. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Well, thank you for this. So this is people. awesome. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. So once again, we're at Lux in Bluffton. They also have a Hilton Head location. Yeah. And come in and get yeah. your consult. Because Follow social media. Like get your consult. <laughs> yes. And the hydrofacial. And get your hydrofacial. <laughs> it's a great place That's to what? start. Yeah. It's hydrofacial. Great place to start, yeah. All right. Well, we post a new video and podcast every Monday. So make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Thanks for listening. Make sure to follow and subscribe so you can tune in next week.